Hey, Happy New Year, guys. So I had recently made a video where I watched scary type videos, and if I had some sort of reaction to them, I would eat part of the Packy Hot Chip Challenge. If you watched that video, you know how that turned out. Okay, I don't, I don't feel well. I was never gonna do that again. Because it's... Stupid. And then I spoke to a madman by the name of Wendy Goon. He has a sick obsession with watching me suffer. I don't know what I did to the guy, but I'm sorry, Wendy Goon. Stop. So we issued a challenge to each other. We were both gonna gather a lump sum of videos to show each other and try and scare slash disturb each other. Like a really demented show and tell. So if one of my videos were to affect Wendy Goon, he donates to a charitable cause every time one of my videos hits. And vice versa, if one of his videos affect me, I will donate to a charitable cause. Or as he suggested, eat hot chip. You know, I got money too. I could shout out some money. I've this video will be me reacting to what Wendy Goon has brought to the table and seeing how I fare. No spoilers, but me and Wendy Goon are not on speaking terms anymore. But if you did want to watch the videos that I prepped for Wendy Goon, you can head on over to his channel. His link will be in the description. You're probably already subbed. Go watch that as well. Anyways, speaking of money. Hey guys, welcome to a section of the video I like to call the laziest fucking sponsor read ever. This video is sponsored by Vance Global. And Vance lets me do whatever the fuck I want, so I'm gonna do that. I didn't even write a script. I'm gonna play a song on the piano that I learned yesterday. I'm gonna try and improvise a song. It's gonna be uh, very bad. Thanks, Vance. <laughs> you should buy Vance cause it's fucking lit. It's super lit. I fucked it up. I guess maybe I should kind of do this. Vance Global has gummies, Delta 8. Vance Global got those fucking gummies and THC and CBD and I'm sure other great stuff. You should support a sponsor that isn't big like Super Dick. There actually kind of buggers. Thanks for watching this sponsored segment of Vance Global. Code Mr. GG 20% off. Just go look at them. Just support them. They're cool fucking sponsors. They just paid me to do that. <laughs> Please support them. Shut, come on. Be nice, guys. Jeez. There's a good chance you may have seen some of these before. A lot of them are more popular on the internet, but I still think mm -hmm. they're worth talking about. So as a way to prepare our appetizer, sort of pre-game for this, I have this video right here. Oh, he just blew my mind. Are you familiar with this? I am familiar with this. I am shot. I... Dude, if I had to bet on something that you're gonna send me, it was not this video. <laughs> but I am down. Let's watch it. You obviously don't have to sit and listen to the whole song, but I mean, that, I like the song. I, I, I do too. That is one of <laughs> my favorite all time videos ever. So mm -hmm. I assume you know the backstory behind it. Yes, but I will let you explain it. So Chilino Sanchez was a famous Mexican singer who did several songs about uh, the cartel and the dangers of the cartel within Mexico. And he became popular enough with these songs that he began to be threatened by them to the point where at this performance, someone handed him a piece of paper saying if he sang the song he was about to about the cartel, he would be murdered. So in the video, you can see Sanchez look at at the piece of paper, begin sweating, nod to the guy uh, playing an instrument, and just start singing. And uh, I believe it was about three hours after the show, he was found shot to death in the middle of the Mexican desert. What mm -hmm. a legend. That is one of the coolest stories of something caught on video ever. It's crazy the first time I heard about this because I used to listen to these songs, right? So, for example, there's one in the suggested, it's called Nieves de Nero. I used to listen to these songs of this exact concert, right? And I never knew any of the backstory on it until a random YouTube video popped up and I watched it. And I was like, there's no fucking way that this is caught on tape. He reads it, he pauses for a bit, he just takes a little dabble of sweat off, 
And he says, well, the show must go on. What a chief. I love that guy. This has 80 million views because, not because of what happened in the video, because the song. That's a great start. I can't really give you the gimme on it. Understood, as in like, understood. Um, only because I knew the backstory. Had you dropped that bomb on me, that's easy money. Like I said, I didn't expect that one to work. I wanted to play that. So there you go. <laughs> Classic editing right there. <laughs> For the second coming when it arrived, you wanted to be the ones that had every all the infrastructure all set up and ready to go and and be prepared for um, his return. And did you know that we were in your prayer groups for a while? We were actually did some of your accounting for a while. I mean, we were right there. Okay, so is this like cult? I'll go ahead and tell you what this is. This is the final will and testimony of the Heaven's Gate cult members. So the Heaven's, are you familiar with right. the Heaven's Gate cult? You should have just not said anything else after that and been like, okay, next video. <laughs> we, go. we can move on. Okay, I, I am not familiar with anything you just said. All right, so the Heaven's Gate cult was a group of people, I forget the name of the leader. It was a guy and a girl who said that they had talked to God and that God was coming back on a comet. And they all believed mm -hmm. that their bodies were trapping them from joining God on that comet. They went to a house, I think it was in LA, and they all took a concoction of cyanide and applesauce and killed themselves in mass. What you're watching this video, each one of them did a recording talking about their last testimony of earth and why they feel like they're doing the right thing. Every single person you're watching on the video, I believe the next day killed themselves in a mass suicide. If you skip through there, it's very clear that some of these people are not of a sound mind and are being heavily mm -hmm. manipulated and it makes the situation especially more tragic. Oh, okay. This is a whole, oh, this is a whole gang of people. Yeah. Do they all have similar glasses on purpose or am I looking too much into it? Uh, I'm not This sure. guy's wearing a hat. <laughs> This guy's wearing like a That's Dr. Seuss hat. It. This guy's wearing a hat. Are the actual cult leaders in this video? Yeah, so it's a guy and a girl. They were kind of young. They also committed suicide. Only two people lived. I don't think they gave their testimony. And the reason they lived is so they could, I'm not kidding, they so they could keep up the website. Sidebar, what's the point of mixing cyanide with applesauce? They did a bunch of uh, symbolic stuff. They all wore Nikes when they did it uh, because just of- Just do it. Just do it. I think it may have been a reference to Johnny Appleseed somehow. Something about like, they're spreading the word wherever they go. Okay, now explain the hat. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not that it was scary. It was more so interesting that I was like, really taken aback. It was just like, oh, left turn. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold off a little bit. Understandable. But I'm into it. And I also have a variety of things. Like, obviously this is more so in the line of like, oh, this is normal video, but the stuff behind it's creepy. I also have weird yeah. jump scary stuff. Yeah, I, I know you got a lot. You got to let up your sleeve here. So I don't want to give you too easy. You got to work for it. Are you familiar with this one? I am familiar with it. I will not lie to you, but I want to watch it because I have not seen it in a while. I'll turn up the volume too. This EVP was recorded during my work with a group who I am no longer illegally entitled to name nor claim any association with. Gotta get the legalities out of the way. Checking that location, which was reputed. Ooh. That's a big word. Reputed? To be haunted. I gotta figure out how to say that word. I heard it. As a child, this video traumatized me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one heard it at the time. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about the ending. Oh my bad, I'm over here spoiling it. Yeah, yeah you're ruining it. No, I'm sorry. I, I... Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I, I completely forgot you, about you that part. It, I, thought the ending, I thought the, he was just going to keep running it back. And I was like, yeah, I have a body of a thing. We get it, bro. Stop. <laughs> the first time I watched this, I was making a, uh, a Patreon video where I watched creepy videos at night, home alone, in my old shitty scary house. And this scared the shit out of me. And during that video, I heard like... Like knocks <laughs> and creaks, and I was like, I'm not fucking with this anymore. So I relate that feeling to anything I watched that night. So I can be confident, I can right. be cool, I can be aloof, and I'm like body of a pig. Ha ha ha, that's funny, right? <laughs> but if I'm watching this and like lights off, I don't want to watch this video alone. It's poorly edited, right? It's Correct. old, it's yeah, aged, yeah, yeah, of course. It's silly at this point. But yeah. I'll give you this one. All right, this one, very this cool. one, very this cool. one messed with one of my. 
Did it, you see that? It has the body of a pig. My key light just flashed, or it went out and then went back on. So we're gonna we're gonna end this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll tell you another reason that one freaked me out so bad. I, I saw you looking around. That's hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. As <laughs> a child, like I said, I, I was raised in Christianity. And I'm still a Christian, so I believe in concepts of demons and stuff like that. There are several times whenever it talks about biblically accurate demons, they inhabit bodies of animals. So whenever I hear a creepy voice say, "I have the body of a pig," my immediate Immediate thought jumps to that. Okay, that makes sense. See, because you got all this crazy like context in your head, just ready to apply it. Oh yeah, I'm ready see. to make it so much worse. <laughs> so I have a hot chip and I can also donate. I think I'm gonna go one in one. I will start with a donation because why would you not? I don't know exactly where I'm donated to. I will put it on screen here because I have thought about it in post right here, editor, do the thing. A hundred dollars. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that's one down. This was, uh, you said you don't like ring lights and videos people capture outside of their house. That is very correct. This happened outside of a woman's house. Really looking forward to it. Are you sure? I, I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple of questions. Is he, uh, is he? Is she on the other side signaling, or is he just talking to himself right now? Um. So she came and was, I believe, hiding in the living room, like kind of right. out of the frame of the door. But she, I'm pretty sure he saw her. Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm gonna rape her and kill her. Do you have her open the door? rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. I, I want to rape her and kill her because I have a knife and a gun. All right. Man, this is just, see, this is like, you know how I, how I mentioned, like, it's like the real life stuff. <laughs> yeah. That like, just really just kind of like sets me back. Uh, this could happen anywhere. I then just get worried. Cause like, dude, it's not even nighttime. There's still light outside. There could just be someone walking down the sidewalk to run into this guy. And who knows what the fuck he's capable of. What happened with that guy? His name was Christopher Sums. This video went live on the news that night. This became a big local story. And then the police found and arrested him where he was walking around with a knife and it turns out that this guy has multiple assault charges he's had multiple breaking and entering charges so then he walks up to this house supposedly with a knife in that bag okay well thankfully that door was closed yeah i'm not a fan of watching that at all so i mean i'll, I'll give you that very cool nice nice i'm gonna eat a hot chip <laughs> a, i'm not gonna eat the whole hot chip because then the video's canceled all right here we go thank you wendy goon for doing this to me in advance cheers i will not be judged for the bit i take but i will be taking a small bit here here we go oh fuck i remember what this tastes like <laughs> i got a dude oh no I'm a, it got on my tongue okay for the boys small bit so the vibe I'm getting from you, IRL stuff is more effective than just creepy internet feedback. You know, I'm not gonna reveal my whole hand at once, especially because we may want to do this again in the future. I'm having a great time. This is fantastic. Yeah, I'm amazing. I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it whenever you did this, you had to uh, go to the bathroom <laughs> to while you were recording because of the pain? I don't know what it is. I love hot sauce. But sometimes when I do shit like this, I'll get this crazy, literally just something exploded. My intestines are just fucking wrapping up. People have suggested, oh, you probably have an ulcer. And then other people have told me, oh, it's a legitimate thing. If you look it up, there's a name for it. Right now, I don't feel it. It's just hot, right? <laughs> I'm cool with that. I can rock with that all day. Let's, I sit, let's I watch. sit the next one in chat whenever you're ready. That's real casket, okay, of my great grandma. All right, passed away in 1945. Okay, nice casket. This is quite the build up here. I could not do this. I'm sure most people would agree. I'm not throwing out a controversial opinion here. <laughs> this is. <sighs> This is, oh no, dude. Oh, why are you doing this, sir? He started it with like a semi-wholesome vibe, like, oh, I never met her. Like this wouldn't be, this isn't the lasting memory I wanna have of somebody I never met. I'd wanna look at the pictures, the family photos. Hey, this is grandma at Thanksgiving. Now this is her mom, no! <laughs> no! 
sometimes with okay see that's okay that you're taking care of the casket i have no issue with that <laughs> you skipped over the part where you just where you just like fucking woodpeckered her mouth just now dj def joey that's okay <laughs> that's a lot to process here <laughs> I thought that was going to be the whole video. I was not expecting the French session that followed up quickly. <laughs> Maybe forehead kiss if for whatever reason you want to kiss a corpse that's 65 years old. He kissed her like he was running out of time. That's not an okay thing to do while she's alive. That was uncomfortable. I'll give you that. That's easy. That's an easy hand over to you. Bro, whenever I, you were like, this is unsightly looking at the body. I can't believe this, bro. I, <laughs> I knew where it was going. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to hit me with the Shyamalan twist at the end. I just felt like, yeah, this is fucked, dude. That one's another donation. Yeah, let's go. That's 200 total donated. Okay, let us move on and see what this is. Oh no, I don't like this already. Oh like yeah, already. perfect, it works. Oh, I don't I like was... this already. There's oh, two ways, no, this could like be this really dumb or really freaky, I'm excited. No. No, no, I fucking hate this. No, I fucking hate this. No, I fucking hate this so much. My hands are sweating. Uh, fuck this. No, I don't, I don't like this at all, Wendy. Good. Fuck this. No. <laughs> I just got goosebumps all over my body. Fuck this. No. Why does it seem like it's so close to me? Like, not, my monitor is not that close to my face right now. Ah, I fucking hate this so much! No! No! Oh, no, I hate this so much. You got my head on a swivel right now, dude. I hate this. I'm waiting for, like, <laughs> this is, like, the... This is, okay, this one... I don't... All right, yeah. Oh, okay. I threw that in as, like, a way to get rid of the no. filth of the others. That's great that that works so well. Your your, your logic is backwards. <laughs> that was, I hated that. Thankfully, it trailed off near the end. Okay, do I go a hot chip or do I dono again? Up to you. Well, I already opened the fucking thing. <laughs> The following content, okay, I understand which to proceed. Hey, is this begotten? Is this begotten? Oh, yeah, this is begotten. Oh, it is, isn't it? <clears throat> I recognize this dog shit movie anywhere. Since I have the context that it is begotten, I don't think this is gonna get me, because obviously they put in a lot of um, spooky sounds and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's literally just gonna be begotten. Yeah, it's just begotten, so right? yeah, you're good. Okay, yes, yes, I live. Yes, all right, hey, we're good, baby. Oh yeah, oh, I know, I'm not gonna like this. This was your happy place, so oh, that's exciting. Looks like the Teletubbies hill. Alright, there's an abnormally long face staring back at me. If he jumps at me, I'm gonna break this monitor away again. <laughs> oh, nice, okay. He's sad now. What did I do? I didn't mean to hurt your little guy, I'm sorry. You were hurting our children, okay? They were proud of you. Okay, I definitely murdered my children. I'm waiting for like a loud noise and that's what's <laughs> pissing me off right now. Oh yeah, give me that heartbeat. Uh-huh, I, I know lead ups. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I've been here before. <laughs> okay, that's a start. Okay. How is that video not as bad as the other one I showed that freaked you out with the scary faces? Immediately. It's a no, right? No. <laughs> it's a goofy photo. You show me this photo anywhere else, this is stupid. You at, you attach the sound to it, makes a whole heap of difference. The reason why this one was different is because this face, it's a bit more further out there, and I have a bit of faith in you that you would not give me a very cheap jump scare. Also, my fucking mouse on fire. I am highly distracted. You know, um, so, I'm taking notes right now, right? Okay, so I, uh, everything I said was a lie. <laughs> I'm a dirty, filthy liar. I just want to add in, uh, someone rang my doorbell seven minutes ago. <laughs> I'm home alone right now. I went to go check the camera. No one's there anymore. That sucks. One Wendy Good collab and this is what fucking happened. But after this, uh, I'm going to do a video with Elvis where we react to the video of you being murdered on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
This was a guy who had a YouTube channel with like two subscribers where he just vlogged his day-to-day -day life going to work and whatever, okay? This was the last okay. video he uploaded to that channel. Casey Neistat of his generation. Let's watch this. Okay. I am dead. Okay. Hey, it is me, Timothy. She's still sleeping. <laughs> and she's still sleeping. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, everyone. <laughs> that is a rarity for Penny to do, is sleep in. <laughs> but yeah, she's sleeping away. Okay, so she is dead. Yes. And he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that, yeah. So he talks in the beginning like, man, she sure is sleeping in late. And then sure enough, it turned out she was actually dead. And that shot at the beginning where he shows her in bed, that was her body. That is sad. The reason I'm okay with like doing this is because he posted it and he said like yeah. people were so kind and comforting to him in the comments and everything. Um, oh, that's nice. And that and like it was good seeing people support. So he doesn't mind. But um, the person who put whatever the fuck text I this have is no I, I do not remember. Maybe I'm just misremembering and that text was always there. If he put it in, it makes it more creepy but if someone else put it in then it's like it's just like kind of like douchebag yeah it's a jerk move i went to go and get my man if th if he did add that that is terrifying that is so weird then if that was him oh he believes that he heard an evp and that's why he's re-uploading it the text on screen is what he's saying that the background noise is okay because he's ghost writers paranormal so he's doing some investigation into this okay we got to the bottom of it So, overall, $300 donated, two cute little bites of a hot chip. I think that's a success. I think it is too. Instead of me trying to find a specific charity to go to, I'll, I'll double up with you. St. Right. Jude's. So that is $600 to St. Jude's. This is the weirdest way to go through that donation process, but... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wendy Goon, thank you very much for joining me and also uh, trying to traumatize me as well as feel my nightmares. I really do appreciate it if you want to just go ahead and lob your channel out there so people can go take a look because you got good shit. Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Gigi. Uh, I said this on my video. I'll say it again. Gigi's a fantastic guy. He was very kind to me and helped me whenever I was starting out this YouTube thing. And I can definitively say that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. My channel will hopefully be linked in the description somewhere. I also have the other part of this video where he tried to disturb me. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I hope that you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I am the Windigoon himself. So back to you. If you guys enjoyed this video and collaboration, please leave a like. Here is your second reminder to please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Go on over to Wendigoon's channel to watch technically the first part of this video and go show him some love. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me in 2021. And I am very much looking forward to 2022 and seeing what I can do with this channel and my other channels as well. Shout out to my lovely, lovely patrons for always holding down the boy speaking of other channels i've posted a lot on the second channel mr g dubs you can go check that out and as always i am mr gg and i am out